Hi, everybody. I'm Tim Donnelly with the Charlotte Rush. We're in the coach's office of the Charlotte Rush here at the Extreme Ice Center, just a day away from the Charlotte Rush, flying up to Boston to begin the USPHL championship round. And we're here with Ryan Crothers, head coach and general manager of the Elite Charlotte Rush. And, Ryan, before we talk about the uh, big playoff happenings for the Elite team, I want to congratulate you on being uh, inducted into the Wall of Fame, the Wall of Honor for the Reading Royals and the ECHL. That just happened this past weekend. You've been doing a lot of traveling, but congratulations. Uh, wonderful honor. Tell us about that evening. Yeah, thanks a lot, Tim. Oh, it was a great night. Um, I can't thank the Reading Royals organization enough for everything that they did for me and my family throughout the years. And then, uh, you know, Saturday night to have that opportunity to go on the Wall of Honor. I'm, I'm very humbled by it. Um, very thankful for them for doing it. And uh, it was a great night. I had a lot of my players. Mm. Uh, my staff was there, John Keating. And um, my family and friends from all over mm. uh, came up for the night. And uh, just so happened we were off. So it worked out great. And um, very, very enjoyable night and uh, very honored. Well, again, in the ECHL is the top double-A uh, premier hockey league in all of North America. And Ryan is the all-time leading scorer of the Reading Royals. So quite a feat. And, Ryan, congrats on that. I know it was a, a very satisfying evening for you and your family and uh, all of your fans. Let's turn our attention now to the big playoffs coming up. The rush is in the USPHL Elite Championship round in Boston, Massachusetts. It begins on Wednesday, and we'll talk about that. But first, Ryan, just have to talk about your Round one, round two victories. Very solid. Palm Beach walked through them. But even Richmond, a team that has some talent, you just blew them away in two games. You had to be very happy with your club's performance. Yeah, I was extremely happy, especially the Richmond weekend. I thought Palm Beach um, is what it is, and uh, we took care of business. But I thought Richmond is a very tough opponent. Um, they work extremely hard. They play a physical brand of hockey, and I thought our guys matched that. Uh, raised the intensity level, and they played real playoff hockey. And it was a great successful weekend, and um, very happy and, and excited to get up to Boston. Good goaltending and also contributions in the playoffs, the first two rounds from literally everybody. Yeah, I think we averaged ten and a half goals throughout the uh, first four games, and we only gave up four. So I thought we did get contributions from everyone. All of our goaltenders saw action. All of our guys chipped in where they needed to and uh, had a nice week off here where we were able to prepare and rest some bodies that were mm -hmm. injured. So we're feeling very good heading up to Boston. And, of course, the rush will leave tomorrow, and they're not going to be bussing up. They're going to be flying up. And, Ryan, that's got to be a real treat. But just talk about the value of a two-hour plane ride as opposed to a 16-, 18-hour bus ride up to Boston. Yeah, when it was time to make the decision about whether we are going to drive or fly, I spoke with my partners, and we just thought these guys earned it. Both teams earned uh, you know, the right to fly and rest their bodies, and hopefully it will pay off for us, um, and we're able to have success up there. But we've done that bus trip now three times this year with our group. Mm -hmm. uh, it does get a little old and tiresome at this time of the year. Uh, you want to be playing your best hockey, but you also want to be treated like professionals, and we thought they deserved that. So we were able to practice today rather than be on a bus, and uh, hopefully it will work out for us. Excited to fly as a group. These guys really earned it. Well, first two games on Wednesday, the USP3 rush will play two, the Elite will play two. Ryan, you've got the Syracuse Stars and the Dells Ducks from uh, Madison, Wisconsin, I believe it is. Again, I know you've always told us in the past, you're not so much worried about the other team, but what you're going to do. But do you know anything at all about these teams? Have you been able to gain any information about what they might bring to the table? Well, I know Syracuse is good. They beat us uh, when we were up in Boston um, at the uh, Islanders Showcase, so they beat us 3-2. Uh, they're a very good team. They're well coached. Uh, they play really strong as a whole unit. Uh, they have good goaltending, so they're, they're a very tough opponent, and to, to face them first game is going to be a challenge for our guys. Uh, Dells Ducks, there. I got to watch them play a little bit in Marlboro. Yeah. Um, Good team. You know, they beat the Islanders Hockey Club, which was the, the mm. best team in the regular season. So they're another very strong opponent. Uh, and then we'll come back and play a Wisconsin team the following morning um, that we played and had a very tough game against. And uh, they finished first in the West. So it's a very difficult schedule, and hopefully our guys are up for the challenge. And again, the Charlotte Rush will be playing at the New England Sports Center. It's in Marlboro, Massachusetts, about 32 miles dead west of Boston. They played there before. Ryan, talk about the playoff scenario. Inform our viewers. Okay, so you play two games Wednesday, Thursday. What do you have to win to advance to the semifinals, and how does that all work at this elite USPHL championship round? 
Yeah, there's two brackets of three, so after the three preliminary games, they'll take the top two from each bracket. You'll do a crossover playoff game where the, the one seed will play the two seed from the, from the opposite bracket. And then um, that's your semifinal Thursday night, do or die. And then if you're able to win, then it's a best of three series Friday, Saturday, Sunday for the championship. So. Uh, I think you got to come out of the gate hard. You can't have any lapses in your game. And then if you're lucky enough to get to Thursday night, your season comes down to 60 minutes. So uh, it's going to be a challenge. It's a lot of games in a short period of time. And uh, hopefully our depth and, and our health will, will help us. You mentioned you had a good week to rest up and let the guys uh, unwind a little bit. How's our lineup looking? Uh, everybody coming in healthy? Yeah. Um, right now everyone's healthy. Um, everyone's able to go. And uh, everyone practiced all week. We didn't have any guys out. So uh, very lucky this time of year. Last year we were unfortunate with some injuries going in the playoffs. And this year we're healthy. And uh, we feel we're playing very strong hockey right now. And, um, yeah, again, excited. Ryan, last comment. Last year in your first year did Yeoman's work, getting the eighth seed, got knocked off in the first round but made the playoffs. But, wow, what a jump in just six months going from the eighth spot winning your division, and now going all the way to the championship round. It's got to be very satisfying for such a big improvement in just one off season. Yeah, I give a lot of credit to, to the guys. The, this group that came in and bought in right away, they worked extremely hard. Uh, they get along extremely well. It's a very, very close team on and off the ice. And just kind of the perfect storm, and we recruited the right people, and they're also good hockey players, and it's uh, been a great, successful run. Uh, to have the first seed in Marlboro, Massachusetts a year after your first year. Uh, we're very excited about that. Ryan, congrats on a great season. We wish you and the guys all the best up there and hopefully to bring back the championship to Charlotte. Thanks a lot, Tim. And again, there'll be a lot of fans who are going to be going up there, billet families, uh, fans of players. And if you can't uh, make it, of course, uh, going up there to cheer on the rush, you can watch on HockeyTV.com, HockeyTV.com. And don't forget, also, go to our Rush website as well at uh, charlotterushhockey.com for complete information.